got these box of records, brought them home, and it was like amazing jazz records in there. And I heard Children of the Night, that was the first time I heard Wayne Shorter. A little did I know that, you know, these were people that I would get to know, like, and play with even some of them. So the music really gripped me emotionally, I had no idea what they were doing. Just find what's personal, you know and um, use your influences, study the history of the music, but don't get caught up in being a clone of any one person. I was the worst reader in the history of music, I think. I, I played so by ear that I couldn't read anything. This was probably the only time in my life where I actually was dream, I was asleep and I was dreaming and this melody was, I was in Japan playing with Michael Brecker actually, and I was jet lagged. practice your scales and your arpeggios, which you kind of have to do to learn the instrument, how do you do it? Like a lot of people say, well, I do it in front of the television because it's boring and that. That's not a good thing to do. I think you have to integrate a musical and emotional connection with your instrument when you do those things. Do something where you have to generate music, not just technical cerebral exercise. Um, it really is about sound and touch and a feeling that you can create and how close you are to your instrument so that you can get music out. Not, I can wiggle my fingers fast, that means I have great technique. It doesn't if your sound is not beautiful and you're not creating a, a great feeling with your rhythmic thing, you know. Imprint, where we're using the electric bass, and um, it's a different feel. They're both in interesting enough. Those, both of those tunes are the uh, are the tunes that are sort of even eighth note feelings, but they're radically different. The imprint is a combination of Afro-Cuban rhythms and different ways of playing three, four, and six, eight. like that too. One, two, th it's one way, right? But the, what I've learned from talking to guys and, and trying to study all the different musics from South America is that you have to freely be able to change in between those things and access different aspects of the rhythm. create a lasting impression on others is the, the feeling that you play with the emotional thing, the groove, uh, your rhythmic thing. That's the first thing. And your sound. Is your sound pleasing? Does it really set up? Is it round? Is it full? Does it make people... Because you're a bass player. You're supposed to inspire people with your sound and your time feel. You just have to have an open mind. 